Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrible and Home Care. Very glad you are joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it. And you know this week as we're celebrating the best of the best and all of the really good things that happen in our community, it's really nice to be able to talk about some wonderful festivals, and we're going to get into that in just a second. So we welcome to the program, Dr. Maria Bro. thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. I could say all the different things that you do. We'll just call you program advisor. Is that okay? That's fine. All right, Thank very you. good. I like that. I like people that wear so many different hats. You're not really sure how to define that. Uh, sitting with him, with her, uh, Tommy Meyer, the producer of the Acadia Music Fest. And I know we haven't had it um, with the exception of COVID, but it's been around for a few years. Tell us a little bit more about the background. Tom. Yeah, no doubt. And thank you for having us. We really do appreciate it. Sure. Uh, yeah, we've been around for a while, six or seven years, like we were talking about, and, right. you know, with the exception of that one year that we missed. So the Katie Music Fest started with this with this vision of creating something in honor of my little brother, Ben Meyer. Ben was a, a student at Nichols, and he was, we lost him in a car accident uh, about 21 years ago now. Wow. And yeah, wow. it's been a while. Absolutely. And so, mm -hmm. um, so this was like an amazing way to do it because Ben had a strong passion for, uh, not only music, but for children and for children, I would say with special needs or, or un the underdog, he was always trying to help those children. So being able to marry those two together through the Acadia Music Fest has just been a tremendous opportunity for us. So Super excited. Exactly. And it is here. So Jen put that first flyer up. Want to let people know uh, that you can come out and see the Acadia Music Fest, uh, music, art, and food. It's going to take place on Saturday, October the 29th, uh, 2022. Um, but Dr. Mary, tell us a little bit about what people can expect for that day. Well, there's going to be a lot of music and fun. Um, right. Bridge to Independence is the program that is the benefactor this year for the fest, and we are so very excited about that. Um, we are housed at Nichols State University. We are a certified comprehensive transition program um, certified by the United States Department of Education. Okay. And we serve students with intellectual disabilities in our certificate program. And we also serve students with autism who are working on a traditional degree at Nichols. So these funds are going to be huge um, in helping us to support our students. And so important for those people whom we're just trying to find a way to get them streamlined. We're trying to find a way to get past whatever that disability is to let them be able to function. And so wonderful that the money is going to help that group of people. Because yeah. there's so many different levels of their ability to function. But being able to provide resources for them, that's just really cool. Yes. And we, these programs are very few in the state and in the United States itself. Right. Um, and Bridge to Independence is very unique in that we are a CTP serving students with intellectual disabilities who would not typically have that college experience. They're um, high school diploma isn't one that would lead to a college experience, but this program enables them to have that experience. It's a two-year program. We work on independent living and job readiness skills. Right. Um, we accept a cohort of students, five, four, uh, every fall. Mm -hmm. And we have had tremendous success through our program. We have students um, who leave us who are living independently and who are working um, in, you know, typical regular jobs in our communities right. and back in the communities where they come from because students come from all over the state um, to bridge. Well, because it's just not really available or readily available in other areas. That's and correct. that's just so very cool to be able to see. Uh, I've been able to work with that aspect of people a little, but man, what a great way to really help somebody. I mean, and it, there's a reason why there's only four or five in the program. It's a little more intensive to be able to do that training for what they need. CTV certified training program? We do um, training in-house. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some different avenues within the state that uh, we work together. Right. Um, there are two other CTP programs um, at UL and at Southeastern. So right. we work collaboratively, collaboratively together. Um, but the thing about Bridge that is very, very unique is that we are the only university that offers the program for students with autism. Right. So we support them through their college experience with social skills and with mentoring and um, 
academics yeah. to, you know, get that four year or that two year college degree. And we were the first university in the state to obtain that CTP certification. So wow. we're very, very proud of that. Very cool. I appreciate it. I like where the funds go. Let's talk about how people can enjoy it. So, Jen, put that uh, second flyer up, please. And, Tommy, tell us a little bit about what people can expect that day. Yeah, absolutely. So you, what you can expect is a lot of family-friendly fun. Um, our goal is to provide the community with regional uh, music, local artists, and then national artists. And this year we have Ludacris and David Shaw and Dumpster Funk. Um, all the way down, we have our locals with... Little John and the Dirty Clarks and Icarius Jones, Reese and Peyton, and then Lovers and DJ Spin. And that's not all you can get there. I mean, you're going to have tons of food and art. It's just a great way to celebrate our community and celebrate great organizations like the Bridge to Independence. And I can tell you, one, one other thing I want to share is the energy around this year's event, um, and I think it's probably because of Bridge to Independence, the energy has been phenomenal. It's better than we've seen by far. So wow. we're really excited. Um, it starts when? So it's going to start on at 1 o'clock. Right. Uh, and it's going to go until about 11. At? It's going to be, luckily, we, it's going to be right off of Percy Brown, uh, okay. Acadia Plantation. Uh, oh, those nice. guys have been so generous to us. It's amazing. Very, very cool. And yeah. if people want to get more information? Yeah, so they can visit the website. I think it was on the flyer that right. you showed. They can also buy tickets uh, through the website. Um, and you can find us on Facebook, or you can stop by our office, which is also in Thibodeau. Very cool. Thank you both for joining us. Congratulations, and uh, what a way to honor Ben. Very Thank cool. You. Thank All you. right, guys, that'll do it for this particular segment. Don't go anywhere. A lot more by your time here on HTV.